The Paris Universal Exposition of 1889 had at its centrepiece Gustav Eiffel's Thousand Foot Tower, then the tallest structure ever made by man. It reminded the world that the French capital was enjoying a golden age, a time that is often referred to as the Belle Epoque or the Beautiful Era. Gare de Lyon railway station housed one of the many elegant restaurants patronised by Parisian society. The Train Bleu, or the Blue Train, overlooks the departure platform for trains travelling to the south of France. But why the Blue Train? The blue train, simply because it was the train going to the Riviera. It was the colour people saw when they woke up in the train in the morning and opened the windows. Everything was blue and it was fantastic. After a long and detailed renovation, the blue train restaurant has been restored to its original grandeur. And how better to celebrate its centenary than with a special dinner for which the guests dressed in period costume to relive a golden age of affluence and artistic creativity. But while the spectacular interior of the restaurant can evoke memories of yesteryear, it's quite a different story behind the scenes. Feverish activity in the kitchen pays homage to the very best of modern French cuisine. Chef André Signoret feels it is a privilege to be working in such a significant environment. But at the same time, he welcomes the challenge of introducing 21st century gastronomy to the historic restaurant. The Blue Train has been in existence for one century. It has changed since then, of course. We prepare a more modern cuisine. It is a restaurant which is wonderful thanks to its décor, its regular clients. It is very lively and we serve about 500 people per day. The restaurant was officially declared of historical interest in 1972 and restoration began soon after. Some 30 painters carried out the decoration of the restaurant, with the wall murals depicting scenes from the south of France, the region serviced by the original blue train. For the ceilings, the architect called in artists who had already decorated part of the Sorbonne ceilings, the Paris Town Hall and the Comic Opera. For those who could recall the glory days of the blue train, this was a special night. This evening is very important for me. I got to know the blue train in the 50s when it was not what it is today. The rooms were abandoned. It has been redone beautifully, cleaned up, and I have watched it become a restaurant again. It brings to life the period around 1900, and I have a lot of affection and tenderness for that time. I love the style of those years, the clothes for men and women. It was superb, magnificent. Turn of the century Paris was a city of writers, artists and musicians, the cosmopolitan capital of pleasure and culture. And more than a century later, this evening reproduced that lifestyle in every detail. <laughs> the centenary celebration ended with the entrance of a spectacular birthday cake covered with candles and lit up with fireworks. A fitting tribute to an era that took Paris to the forefront of chic European society.